Joining us now, Global Editorial Director of the Huffington Post Media Group and MSNBC political analyst Howard Feynman. You have a long title. Thank and you for the chair that. of the Democratic National Committee, Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz of Florida. Good to have you both. Yeah, you're good guys. So, so, Howard, you have an interesting take on the debate last night. Tell us about it. Well, a couple things. I, I think Marco Rubio has been talked about a lot. And I think, understandably, in the context of that, quote, colorful debate you were talking about, if you want a rebel, if you want somebody who can go up against Hillary Clinton, if you want somebody who's sort of an outsider by definition, you can go with a Donald Trump, or you can go with a young politician, a guy who hasn't been in the game for a long time, who represents a new generation and who is an outsider by definition. And that is Marco Rubio. Do you think Marco won the debate last night? No, I don't think he won it. I think he did himself a lot of good. I don't think Trump, you can cut it any way you want. I don't think ton Donald Trump gave himself another booster rocket in the polls. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know that he's going to go down because an analysis of Donald Trump is is it's always wrong. It's always wrong. Yeah. But but gonna, and, 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 and 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 you know but people like Bush and and Walker, the yeah, establishment candidates, I, I thought they were pretty much nowhere. I mean, there were there were times when George Bush, when uh, Jeb Bush was saying, you know, I think we need civility and respect in politics. Where I thought he looked like a guy who'd wandered into the wrong auditorium. I mean, that was yeah. uh, Debbie. What did you think? Well, I I, I thought last night um, I felt pretty good that. We increase the chances that the Democratic nominee, whoever it is, will ultimately be elected President of the United States. And there's a reason that Reince Priebus didn't want to have 20 debates, because when you expose America to the extremism that is the Republican Party today, like they did last night, it's very evident that there will be a dramatic and clear contrast going into the general election. And Democrats are going to show off that we care about fighting for the middle class, and they care about taking care of the wealthiest 1%. Michael? Well, uh, well speaking of extremism, uh, you've got your, your own problems with Debates. You've got two of your candidates, Bernie Sanders and Martin O'Malley, the governor of my home state of Maryland, former governor, uh, who are, are a little bit ticked off with the idea that they feel relegated to a second tier status or not given the, uh, the opportunity to really engage your you know, potential nominee, Hillary Clinton, in a debate. Well, Michael, we're gonna what, how do you guys, how do you begin to deal with that on your side as you go forward? You know, uh, that's an attempt. And, 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 a val and a valiant one at creating drama where there isn't any. We have by me six, or them by you. I, no, <laughs> I'm not. I don't. Debates. I'm not complaining about your debates, no, uh, no. Congresswoman. Michael, your own candidates have, are. Um, we're going to have six robust debates and. As we always do, there will be organizations that will sponsor forums. Our candidates will have plenty of opportunity to showcase their viewpoints, draw contrasts between one another, and the six DNC sanctioned debates will give our voters plenty of opportunity to, to see what our candidates are all about. Debbie, and I'm we'll, thrilled we'll, that they're all choosing to participate. Debbie, in will socialists be allowed? <laughs> so, uh, so uh, they, they always, why change it now? I mean, you guys are hilarious. <laughs> so, Hey YouTube fans, I'm Ayman Mohideen from MSNBC. Thanks for checking out our channel. Subscribe to our channel by clicking right here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift and other digital exclusives.